guys welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to be making a shooter game on scratch so anyways let's get started as guys can see the first thing that we need in any shooter game is a player so here's just a quick player that i designed make sure that you center align the player and in order to make a player just choose your color you can make it red and make sure the outline is like um, four or five just Use the circle tool and make a circle. You can change the outline how much ever you want. And make another circle here. Without an outline. So just put a zero. And wait. First make this block and then make a circle here. And you can just press Ctrl C and Z and you can move the other eye. Okay, so here's just a base, basic player. Now, I'm just going to be using um, this player, the blue player that I already have. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure it goes to zero, zero. It's right in the center. So now let's create a variable called x plus b. x though. And make sure it's for all sprites. It can also be for the sprite only if you want. Okay, so let's say one click forever if and duplicate this key right arrow press. Right and then duplicate it and let's get left arrow, change x plus b by 0.9, or you can just do one. And since this is the opposite direction, you can just do change x plus b by 0.1. Or minus one. So right now it won't do anything because we haven't defined X plus or what it is. So let's say one click or change X by make sure to stop this because it can uh, cause an error in the code. So change X by X plus. We're going to set X plus to 0.9 times X plus. So it's a gradual movement. First 0.9 times Draw this from the operations box. 0.9 times x plus. This should break. Okay. Okay, as you guys can see, now I get like a player which is moving left and right and it's gradual. This is the first thing that we need. Now, we need a bullet for the player to shoot. So, just um, duplicate, or you can just create a new sprite by clicking on the paint function and renaming the sprite to bullet. Now, just click on the square tool and make the bullet yellow or red or whatever you want. I'm just going to make it orange, I guess. And to make the bullet look cool, I'm just going to make a big, I'm just going to make an outline. Make sure that the bullet is smaller than the player, because it would look weird then. So let's say one click, um, hide again. Forever, if key space press. Or the first thing that we need is to make sure it goes to the player. So drag, just go to random position from motion block and change it to sprite one. Okay, forever, if, or forever go to sprite 1, and if case key uh, space press, show, and repeat, or repeat 10, move uh, y, change y by 10. Let's try this out. As you guys can see, you can shoot. Make sure it goes to back mirror so it doesn't go in front of the player. Go to back mirror. Go to the looks and drag in it. Go to front layer and change it to go to back layer. Now click it again and it should disappear. Now let's say repeat. Let's remove repeat 10 and change it to repeat until. Repeat until. Touching edge. Or, yeah, just the repeat until touching edge. And hide. Now 
Let's guess this dude. This is a very cool shooting thing that we got here. Make sure, one, one last thing, you need to make sure this is centered. This is a good shooter game that we got here. Let's just say, one quick, wherever go to strike one. So that the movements are Okay. Now we got a good shooting thing. Let's just rename the sprite to clear. Now I guess let's make it open it. Enemy. Clear. Just duplicate this and I guess just make it red. One click, go to pick random, hide that expel block so it doesn't distract us, let pick random, negative 236 to One eighty four. Right, let's just say two hundred. So let's test it out. Yeah, we need to make sure the Y thing is a bit above. So one forty four is fine. One forty four. So it's gonna keep spawning randomly at this position. And what we need to do now, now is repeat ten or how much of the times change Y by. Change y by I guess ten or no negative ten because we want to go the opposite way. See, it just goes like that. So yeah, ding ding, we finish that. And no, let's say and let's make it change y by one hundred, but it goes back changes repeat hundred change y by one hundred. Now we have time to shoot. Wait a sec. Okay. Let's also make it go to back layer. Back, back. Go to back layer. Let's try shooting it. Let's get to see if something happens. Let's say repeat until touching edge or touching um, enemy. Or function is right here. Touching edge or touching enemy. Bingo. We can remove all this code that is excrete code. And okay, so let's click on the fly again. Okay, now let's see. One click. Let's see what should happen if you touch the bullet. One click forever. If touching bullet. That's the the space. Hi. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it works. Good job, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's make it show when we start. Now it's the fun little shooter game that we got here. Yay. It's actually kind of fun to play. Okay, so if you want to shoot more bullets, you can create clone. But just for a simple example, I just made um, show and hide. And if you want, you can change the speed. You can also give it more health, I guess. So yeah, this is a really fun shooter game that we got here. So if you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll try to post more videos soon.
Thank you guys. Bye.